Hello? Where is everybody? <laughs> I cannot hear you, I don't know what's wrong. <clears throat> okay, let me just type in... In Omega. That something is super weird. Something is super weird. There's a story. It's all made of stories. <laughs> um, let not thy right hand know. That's right, that's the way it goes. Let not thy right hand, thy left hemisphere, know <laughs> what this hemisphere is about. And one of the very conspicuous things with these people is how much they know of what is wrong. The extraordinary articulacy once you begin to discover, begin to be able to hear the nature of the poetry that they're using. And there's a story which might please you. Uh, this boy, as I'm talking about, boy, he was 35, who uh, said that contrivance is too much. He finally, after about two months, started to talk prose, which is considered a good thing in psychiatric circles. And his first prose utterance was Bateson. This was after a long silence on both sides. Nobody said anything. No context except that there was a me and there was him. Bateson, you want me to come live in your world. I lived in it from 1920 to 1943 and I don't like it. <laughs> So, Frieda from Reichmann, the great therapist of psychotics, came to Palo Alto about that time, to the think tank, and I asked her. I said, Frieda, my patient said this, what would you have said? And she said, ah, yes. I once had a patient who said, Something like that. And I said, but I never promised you a rose garden. That is, that in that therapy, and this is, as you know, not as rare as you might think, there was an, a precise turning point, a particular thing said by the therapist, I never promised you a rose garden, which becomes then the title of the patient's book about the therapy. The patient knows this was the watershed, this was the fulcrum, on which the change occurred, and the therapist was a good enough therapist to know also that it was the turning point. So that, well, I don't know the date of the therapy, but it was some years before my conversation with Frida, and that was, I think, a couple of years before the publication of the book. There are moments when, dare we say enlightenment, a flash occurs between two people and, and that's it. And the 
after that you have many hours of conversation perhaps which are the assimilating working out of that flash. 